This is a special discussion that will be dedicated for measuring instrument, the vernier caliper and micrometer screw gaze. For any measuring device, least count is a parameter which matters the most. And lesser is the value of least count, more would be the precision and less would be the error involved. But you know, if you take a typical measuring scale, like imagine a ruler that you generally used while doing measurement in your geometry classes. What could be the least count of that device? Somewhat around a millimeter. You can make the least count lesser than millimeter, but then the point is you need to see it. And if your eye does not permit, then there's no point reducing the least count. A wonderful alternative of this is the vernier caliper. So before we see the measurement of vernier caliper, let me in short explain what is vernier caliper. It is an arrangement which consists of two scale, the main scale and the vernier scale. And these two scales have the jaws, the main jaw and the vernier jaw. The main scale with its jaw is completely fixed and the vernier scale can slide along the main scale. And the clever design of this device lies in this fact that the least count of the vernier scale is slightly lesser than that of main scale. And just to make you careful in this point, the combination of main scale and vernier scale makes the vernier caliper. So saying vernier caliper and saying vernier scale, they are entirely two different things. Generally, the least count of the main scale is kept as a millimeter and the least count of the vernier scale is kept slightly less than that. So it could be something like 0.9 millimeter. And this entire arrangement leads to that wonderful device, what we call as the vernier caliper. Now let us try to see the reading and the least count of that vernier caliper. So to calculate the least count, First of all, let me typically show how a vernier caliper looks like. Now, we would not be going into that, you know, sophisticated arrangement. The schematic one is more than enough. And just look here. Since the vernier scale is slightly lesser than main scale, you know, the lag keeps on getting added up. And finally, just have a look here, right here, that you know, the first zero of the main scale and zero of the vernier is matching. As you proceed, the first vernier is slightly behind the first main. And then the lag keeps on increasing gradually and suddenly you find that at one point, the main and the vernier would again match. By this time, the n division of the vernier would be matching with n minus one of the main scale. So this is a general trend unless a very severe modification in question is being formed. And how do we define the least count? Look, we have said that if the end division of vernier, by vernier we mean to say vernier scale, coincides with n minus 1 of the main. So this is how we define the vernier constant or the least count. By definition, one main scale division minus one vernier scale division. And that value when you put, say, since n minus 1 main is equal to n vernier, so you can easily put that and you get 1 by n MST. So just for a query, suppose there are 10 vernier division which matches with 9 main and let us say 1 main scale division is a millimeter. So the least count will be 1 millimeter by 10 which is 0 0.1 millimeter. Fantastic! A single scale has 1 millimeter the vernier has slightly less than that, maybe 0.9, but the combination of that is having 0.1 millimeter. And that is quite an interesting factor. That really makes the vernier caliper so special. Just a clever arrangement, all right? And now let's try to see how the readings would be taken. Any measurement would be the main scale reading plus the least count, the same as the vernier constant, into vernier scale division coinciding. Lots of jumbled words. A figure will make it clear. 
look, say while making the measurement, you know, an object fits here and this is the situation. The main scale is there, the vernier scale is there. Now, how are we going to find the reading of this particular thing? In order to find the reading, you could see, just focus where is zero of the vernier. Zero of vernier is between this and this. So you'll talk about this one. Say that is 3.3 centimeter is right here because 3.1, 3.2, 3.3. This one you need to understand because zero of the vernier is after 3.3 main scale division. And plus, all you need to understand is that which division of the vernier is coinciding? You got to see that. And you could see here, the vernier which is coinciding is this. This particular vernier is coinciding. One, two, three. So that will be three multiplied by the least count of the vernier caliper. So that was kind of being very puzzling, right? Now it becomes very simple. The zero of vernier is immediately after 3.3 main scale. And the third division of vernier is matching with the main. So this is how it comes. For a typical value, as I've already said, you know, this can be written as 33 millimeter, you can do that. And 3 into 0 0.1 millimeter, we have already said, the least count of the vernier caliper, 10 division, the standard fact, whatever data had been said has been used here. So this is 0 0.3 and 33, so that is 33.3 .3 millimeter. Did you realize one thing? Suppose this wasn't present and you were measuring this particular length only with the help of the main scale, taking main scale as a ruler, then what would be the value that you would predict? The value reported would be only 33 millimeter. Either you would call it as 33 millimeter or you would call it as 34 millimeter if only the main scale was used. But now, just by a clever arrangement of a slidable arrangement, you could increase your precision to one digit more after decimal in millimeter. And that is the whole significance of vernier caliper. But this is for a vernier caliper which is fit and fine and healthy. You know, sometimes the vernier caliper falls sick. And that is what we call as zero error. So you got to understand the zero error associated with the vernier caliper and we are going to make that suitable adjustment as well. Consider a situation where before climbing on the weighing machine, it already shows a reading of 2 kc. Well, that's always a bad news. But what I wanted to say is that the device or the gadget is showing the reading before any input is given. Such sort of error is called as zero error. Even in case of vernier caliper, we have zero error and there are both the positive as well as negative zero error. Now, typically, let me show that what is the situation when there is no zero error. And that's quite simple. If the zero of main and that of vernier coincide, there would be no zero error. But suppose that someone pushes the vernier scale and when the jaws are touching, the zero of vernier could not reach the zero of main. So this is the case of positive zero error. And how much would be the error? Just see which vernier division is coinciding with the main. So let us say in our case, fifth division is coinciding. So then the zero error is plus five into least count. Converse of this, while you slid the vernier scale, let us say that it overshoots, it goes beyond the zero of main. And this time, let us say, the seventh vernier scale coincides with the main. Be careful, the zero error here would be minus of three into least count, because we have taken the total number of vernier division as 10. Once you compute the zero error, then we talk about zero correction. Zero correction is negative of zero error. And finally, when you report the value, the reported value is the sum of measured value and zero correction. 
and zero correction depending upon the positive or negative correction the value will be compensated. So that was about the zero error of vernier.